Okay. Okay. Listen, first episode back in the new year, we're going to keep it light. Civil War. Will we or won't we? So for this episode, I asked you guys a question for once. I said, will we have civil war? I got all your responses. Let's go through them. What is a banana republic and why did George Bush say we are acting like one? Okay, so already we're not understanding the format of this episode. A banana republic is a country that's short on cash but high on drama. Additionally, banana republic is a costume store for LARPers reenacting middle managers. Will we have civil war? No, it takes a lot more people who are really willing to die. I hear what you're saying, but I don't know because like the right has, you know, QAnon, true believers and guns, but we have depression, which if used correctly can be like a gun. Fucking kill me, I'm dead already. Will we have civil war? Yes, in Applebee's. I like Applebee's. Who the fuck cares anymore? Let's nuke us all. You sound exactly like my mom when I FaceTimed her the other night during her cocktail hour. I'm watching Chris Hayes. This country is going to hell. Yes, we will. What will our new national anthems be? Okay, I think the right is going to be that song, When I Taste Tequila. Sky High in Colorado, lips pressed against the bottle, spirit on a Bible, baby, I never leave. And the left's national anthem is going to be the celebrity version of Imagine starring Gail Godot. It isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for. And no religion to imagine all the- No civil war. Us people of color are staying home. Urban liberals are hella soft and rich whites like their yachts. Yeah, this is exactly correct. And this statement really speaks to the fact that a Democrat versus Republican civil war is going to be really fucking boring and lame. Like, we already know how it goes down. They bring the flags and we bring the fresh basil. I would be more interested to see if this evolves into like a class war, which is really the blockbuster event. I've said this a million times before, but in a class war, I know I'm going to get decapitated pretty early on. It's snatched up while I'm walking down the street drinking a green juice and timing my mile run on my Fitbit. A lot of people don't understand their place in the class war and they think that just because they wrote resist in the window of their brownstone that they're not gonna get punched in the face. But they're getting big time punched in the face. If you were a gun, which type would you be? If I was a gun, I would be the type that's like really funny and also and also beautiful. No civil war, but Trump will start a podcast. Totally. I think he's definitely going to try to do that, but you know he's not going to be allowed on Apple Podcasts. So Trump's podcast is just going to be him screaming voice notes into his phone and then driving around playing them loudly out of the car speakers, which, as we learned from rap, is the best marketing tool. Absolutely civil war. These people are wilding out. What I just did there, that is the absolute most pep that I'm capable of giving. I don't know about civil war. I got to see what weapons I have. Maybe a chef's knife? You cannot bring a paring knife to a civil war. I saw a post this weekend about like, oh, the Proud Boys are coming to NYC. We're going to show up and counter them. Bring drums, pots, and pans. What? Excuse me? I can't win a civil war on rhythm and memes alone. Like, we need something else. We're going to need outfits. Killer outfits.